Astrophotography is an exciting and rewarding hobby. It can be labor intensive too, which can frustrate some people. For some people, polar alignment, star alignment and guiding can prove to be challenging to say the least and requires a lot of practice and patience to do properly. Calibrating a telescope with substantial focal lengths, such as the Celestron Advanced VX 8 inch computerized Smith Cassegrain telescope with a focal length of over 2000 millimeters may pose initial challenges. The difficulty arises from the extensive focal length, making it more challenging to accurately locate small celestial targets like planets, which appear as minuscule points in the sky. So therefore calibration must be done very accurately. I can't stress enough about putting the time into calibrating your telescope when you set it up each night. Celestron has introduced the StarSense Auto Guider to simplify the whole process of calibration of your mount. Not only will it do the basic calibration of two or three stars, but we'll also use go-to alignment, polar alignment if you happen to be using an equatorial mount, and to add to its capabilities, Auto guiding is also achievable. Hello everyone, welcome back to Optic Central. It's Gerald here with you today. And we've got something really exciting to talk about. The Celestron Star Sense Auto Guider, or as some people refer this as the SSA. If you're into astrophotography and own a Celestron go-to mount, you're in for a real treat. This device really is a game changer for those who use large focal length telescopes like the Cassegrain telescopes. In this video, I will go into the features, setup, alignment, guiding, and a few more things you will need to know about this amazing little device. The StarSense Auto Guider features an onboard computer and a sensitive Sony IMX290 LLR sensor coupled with a fully coded four element Ackerman optics. The StarSense Auto Guider is a 120 millimeter focal length um, and it's got a focal ratio of f4. Now we'll do the unboxing so let's see what we get in the box. So we need one of these. And we've got the auto guider here as well so I'll just cut that open. Okay, there's the, the manual, instruction manual. I'll have a bit of read of that. Um, what have we got here? Right, so we've got Allen keys and some, some screws. The ST4 cable is used to connect the StarSense Auto Guider to the mount. Um, what's in here? Oh, there's a bracket. Ah, very good. Um, this is a dovetail bracket. That's, that will come in handy. Put that here. And we've got the, the auto guider itself which comes with a Casa Grain um, adapter here. Now, if you're not going to use the, um, that adapter, you've got a different type of, um, I guess, different type of mount, you can always use this guy here. So first things first, let's get this set up on top of the telescope 
So firstly, let's get ourselves a medium sized Phillips head screwdriver. On the end of the telescope, where the mirror is, you'll see a series of screws. You need to be very careful which ones to remove. Make sure you remove these screws. Put, now put these aside and use the screws that came in the packaging. It is these black ones here that are a tad longer to compensate for the thickness of the bracket holder. And I'm going to use the standard adapter that comes standard with the Celestron Cassegrain telescopes. The auto guider slides into this nice and smoothly. So let's attach the longer silver screws into the holder on top of the mount to hold the auto guider in place. The Celestron StarSense auto guider comes with a camera, the various adapters, cables, and user-friendly software that you can download. Now, how to control the StarSense auto guider. So let's walk through the components, the connections, and the various ways to control both the device and your mount. Using the hand controller that came with your telescope, make sure that the hand controller is updated and the firmware is 3.35 plus. Method number two, you can use the Sky Portal app on iOS or Android devices. You will need to purchase the Sky Portal module if your mount is not uh, Wi-Fi enabled already. Using the CPWI telescope control application for your PC, um, you can control the star sense that way as well. Subscribe to our channel and keep an eye out for an upcoming video that I will do on updating the firmware and database. Now it's crucial um, for optimal performance um, and you do, you do need the latest firmware in order for the star sense auto guider to work. Now let's talk about the alignment. The auto alignment process is a breeze with the StarSense Auto Guider. Much like its predecessor, the StarSense Auto Align, the StarSense Auto Guider automates the alignment process. The StarSense camera will automatically capture the stars of the night sky at various locations and it will match it up with the inbuilt database it has of the entire night sky, and it will orientate the telescope accordingly. This allows the user to select targets from the databases built into the handset. We'll go over the steps from choosing your alignment method to selecting those guide stars. And don't worry, I'll show you how to use the plate solving feature to fine tune the alignment for jaw dropping accuracy. So moving on to the guiding process, it's another game changer. Traditional types of guiding would consist of a guide camera, a guide scope, then the auto guiding software like PH2 where you have to calibrate the stars and do a lot of tinkering within the software before you begin. The StarSense Auto Guider, everything is done for you on the onboard computer that is built into the camera and you're free to do what's important at the end of the day. Um, hi, we're in the backyard. It's looking pretty spooky out here. I'm pretty spooky too, looking with a light like this. Um, I'm testing out the, the StarSense um, Auto Guider on the CGX mount, and we'll see how we go. Right, so here we are in the backyard. Um, got everything ready. Let's see how this all works. So, hit enter, and the telescope's now moving. Okay, so it's going to do polar alignment. Um, polar alignment. Press enter. Right, so now it's in progress of doing polar alignment. So it's going through the polar alignment routine. Right, so it's going to now it's going to tell me to move the um, alt as bolts. So adjust as a math. So I need to adjust the side bolts. I think I need to push enter. Don't move, okay. Yeah, so I need to push enter. And it's going to tell me which way I need to move the Azolt bolts. So I need to move these um, bolts here. And as I'm moving that, it's adjusting. Gradually decreasing. 
Very minor movements now. That'll do me, I think. Right, so I'll hit enter. Oh yeah. Now just the alt bolt. Now the alt bolt, it's this bolt here. So I need to move that. I need to keep an eye where that is. So I need to move that. Press enter and see if this is going the right way. So I'm definitely going the right way. I think that'll do. So hit enter. A fine adjustment? No, I'm not going to worry too much about that. Align successful. Right, so I'm going to do an auto align now. I think it's going to pick up some stars. So I'll hit um, enter. So the telescope's going off to find some spots. So no stars found there. It's going to go a different spot. So what it's doing, it's actually searching for some stars. So it's doing this all automatically on its own. Okay, sounds like it's good. Calibrating. The line is successful. So it's we're ready to go. So let's put this back. That didn't take long. So um, we're ready to rock and roll. So what I'll do then is we'll find an object in the sky. I've selected Rigel. So let's see um, if it takes us there. So I'm just going to have a look through the eyepiece and see if I can see Rigel through the eyepiece. It says it's on Rigel. Let's see if I can have a look and see if I can find it. Yep, there it is. It's not directly in the middle, but pretty damn close. So I'll plate solve it and see what happens, see if I can actually get in close. So I'm pretty impressed. Plate solve here we are. In progress. So now that I've done the plate solve, the telescope's moved a bit. Let's see if I can see Rigel. Ah, there you go. Look, that's dead center. Wow. Done a good job. It's done a very, very good job. It's a bad looking star either, actually. Now that we're on Rigel, I'm going to see if I can do some guiding. So it's in guiding at the moment. If I hit enter, so it's calibrating and it's going to lock on some stars. If we can see some stars, we should see a few stars there. Look at that. So it's guiding. God, it's not too bad. The declinations, actually, it's not too bad. Um, but yeah, we're now, we're now guiding on Rigel. Um, so this comes in handy when you're doing um, uh, long exposures uh, to have um, guiding happening. And um, it's actually pretty easy. It's much easier than anything else I've ever used. I'm quite surprised how simple that was. Wrapping things up, let's summarize the key features of the Celestron Star Sense Auto Guider. From its ease of use, pinpoint accuracy, compatibility to its versatility, this device is a true asset for your celestial adventures. So what do I think of the Star Sense Auto Guider? Well, comparing it to some other alternatives on the market, well, there isn't anything out there that is this good for large focal length um, telescopes like the Cassegrain telescopes. And you know what? There's a lot to love about having both alignment and guiding in one device. The Celestron Star Sense Auto Guider is a device that combines auto alignment and auto guiding functions for Celestron go to mounts. It can make the setup and operations of your telescope easier and more accurate. It is not compatible with all Celestron mounts. The device only works with Celestron go-to mounts that have an auxiliary port, such as the Nexstar SE uh, Evolution, the CGM2, the CGX and CGXL series. It does not work with older or simple mounts such as the SLT, the LCM or manual mounts. It may have some random issues with some setups. Some users have reported problems with the device such as pointing errors, alignment failures or guiding errors, especially with the Nexstar SE mount which has a weaker electronics on the auxiliary port. These issues may require troubleshooting or firmware updates to resolve. 
I imagine after some time and with software updates and user feedback on this device, I can only see very good improvements. Even with that software flaw, I will give this an eight and a half out of 10. So thanks so much for joining me today. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow stargazers, and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. If you have any questions or want to share your experience with a Celestron StarSense Auto Guider, drop a comment below. Until next time, clear skies, happy observing, and enjoy the wonders of the universe. I imagine after some time and with some software updates and user feedbacks on this, on this, and a few other things that will, you'll, and in this video, I will go into the features, setup, alignment, guiding, and a few more things to make, and a few more things you will need to know about this amazing, a few more things you will need to know, a few more things you will need to, a few more things you will need to know about this amazing device. For me, I'm going to see how it all goes. So, bring it over. Oh, no, I can't bring it over there because it.